Hello, my name's Craig Weldy, and um, some of you may know me if you went to Last Blast as the Rule Man or the Rule Nazi. But if you knew me, you'd know that um, I'm a computer programmer, I'm kind of a geek, love to play video games, and um, I like to paintball with my son and some of you other guys. If you really knew me, though, you'd know that uh, the early part of my adolescence and, and my early teenage years were spent with a stepfather who was an alcoholic, a very severe alcoholic, who beat my, me and my uh, brother. And, and in fact, when my mom would try and defend us, he would take off after her as well. Uh, it was a very oppressive uh, time in my life and um, something that I don't really think about that much, but it had a drastic effect on, on how I felt about myself. Um, one of the big things I remember, uh, experiences I remember when um, I was about eight years old, we went camping as a family. And you know, camping is always a fun time. You have a campfire and, and eat around the fire and everything. And everything was going great until probably about a case into the evening, a case of beer on his part. Um, we were getting ready for bed and all of a sudden he decided that uh, um, I didn't need to be in the camper. Unfortunately, it was raining at the time. So I got to spend the night outside underneath the front of the camper trying to stay dry. Um, my mom, of course, tried to object, and, and he hit her, gave her a black eye. And unfortunately, those were the times when, you know, there, people didn't just step in and, and, you know, help out. I mean, everybody was supposed to just let it go, and, and there wasn't anything that could be done about it. It wasn't like things are today where, you know, people will call the police, and, you know, the, the person's going to be taken away, and uh, it... it we just didn't have that protection. So those are some of the memories that I have of uh, my early childhood. For a long time, I, I hated my stepfather. And I told myself that there's no way I would ever be able to trust a man because that's what they were like. Um, I wouldn't ever want to be a father because why would, why would I want to put another child in the situation that I was in? And it wasn't until um, I was probably 11 years old. I went on a camp out with, a, uh, with an Awana group. I don't know what it was. Somehow that incident kind of came up and I was talking to my uh, leader. Uh, his, his name was Horace. And, uh, we started talking about it and he just sat and listened. And I told him about my concerns about the fact that, you know, why would I ever want to be a father? My view of what a father was was ruined at that point. And he just looked at me and he said, you know what? The thing you have to remember is you've got two fathers. You've got the father down here. And it doesn't matter what that father does. You have a heavenly father. You have a father who loves you and is looking out for you. And he told me that even though I feel here that nobody cares, that every time I got a beating, every time I got in trouble, that my heavenly father cried for what I went through. And just the knowledge that, that there was somebody who was thinking about me, that was concerned about me, really had a drastic impact on me.